Hello, we're the Falcon Robotics AUV team for 2014. My name is Samantha Nieto, I'm a sophomore and this is my first year on the team. I work with public relations and electrical systems. My name is Kelly Rexford and I'm a freshman. I am the team treasurer and I also work with electrical systems. I'm Diana Valenzuela, I'm a sophomore and I'm part of the public relations team. I work on electrical systems as well. Carl Hayden High School is a Title I school located in Southwest Phoenix. It is an inner city school with typical inner city school problems. Many of the students that graduate from Carl Hayden are the first in their family to graduate from high school. Our team is primarily an extracurricular program that exposes students to as much STEM as possible. We enter competitions like RoboSub to compete against the best in the world to hopefully become one of the best in the world ourselves. The design of the AUV is one that has evolved over many years of building ROVs and three years of building AUVs. A lightweight skeletal frame holds a metal hull which contains all the electronics in one housing except for the batteries which are located in two side pods safely away from the electronics. The electronics are mounted in a removable lattice structure that allows for easy access. The thruster configuration is one we call vector drive. It consists of four horizontal thrusters mounted diagonally to the frame in a 45 degree angles and two vertical thrusters. This configuration gives the AUV the ability to move in any direction without having to rotate. Our team has chosen to use Windows 7 as our computer language platform. We have been under pressure for many people to switch to a Linux based system. But after several attempts and much discussion, we came to the conclusion that there was not anything that we wanted to do, as far as programming was concerned, that we could not do with Windows. So in order to continue our autonomous code development, we chose to stick with Windows. With these two vantage points, the video is processed through several different filtering algorithms. For the front camera, we are using a flood film method where the video image is altered by filling in the background with black behind the objects that are typically red, green, or yellow. This method is self-calibrating and is functional in a wide variety of lighting conditions. For the bottom camera, we are still experimenting with the various methods. HSL and HSV are two of the methods that work if a human operator can adjust the filter prior to running the program. We will also be using contour detection to assist with our bottom vision. We are attempting to use a new method for navigation this year. It's called optical flow tracking. It's basically how a cursor moves on a computer screen by moving the mouse. In this case, the mouse is our AUV, and the floor of the transit pool is the mouse pad. We will track our movements on a virtual map of the transit pool using information from the optical flow program that was collected from the travel of the AUV through the pool. It is possible to use the data to input a PID loop to control the AUV. We hope to learn a lot from the teams this year so that next year we can be in hunt for the win. So please share with us what you know and we can do the same. When we do this, we all win. Good luck to everyone at RoboSub and please stop by our pit and say hello. Hello! hello.